Hey there fellow domain owners, are you looking to safeguard your domain's email integrity and ensure your messages reach your audience's inbox? Well, you are in luck because today I'm going to walk you through setting up a DMARC record in your cPanel hosting, which is also applicable in any DNS provider out there. This is crucial, especially if you are mailing from your own domain, is your primary communication to your clients and customers. But first, let's quickly explore what DMARC actually is, and I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process in just a few clicks. So what is DMARC? DMARC or Domain based messaging authentication, reporting, and conformance is like the guardian angel of your email domain. It is a robust validation system designed to combat unauthorized use such as phishing scams and spoofing by leveraging existing frameworks like SPF and DKIM, DMARC adds an extra layer of security to your email communications. Think of DMARC as your passport to the inboxes of your audience. With major email providers like Gmail and Yahoo now requiring DMARC compliance, not having a DMARC policy could mean your important messages end up lost in the digital wilderness. This is crucial for businesses aiming to maintain seamless communication with their clients. Now let's get down to business and set up a DMARC record. We're starting out with a cautious approach here. We will set our DMARC policy to none to ensure minimal disruption of our email operations. Now, let me go ahead and share my screen here and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm already logged into my cPanel account here. And before diving into DMARC, let's ensure that SPF and DKIM are correctly configured for our domain by navigating to the email delivery and hit manage for your domain. These are prerequisites for DMARC to function properly. Now simply apply the instructions accordingly by cPanel. It will automatically install the records for your domain's local DNS manager without any further actions on your part. Just make sure that you're pointing your domain to our name servers for it to work for you, or else you may have to install it manually to your DNS provider like Cloudflare or your domain's registrar. Next, let's create our DMARC record. Please navigate to your zone editor in your cPanel dashboard and let's craft our DMARC policy using a DNS TXT record. So it's applicable as well if you're using any other DNS provider. Please follow through with what I enter, but make sure to input your own domain and valid email address. In the name section, add a value such as this with your own domain and under the record section, add this value, but with your own email. Then publish the DMARC record. In this record, you can see we are using P equals none as a safe start, as we mentioned earlier. This ensures that we meet the requirements of having a DMARC record set up while not dramatically impacting our normal operations. The RUA equals mail to tag specifies where aggregate reports of DMARC failures will be sent. Gmail and Yahoo have not specified any deadline or requirement to utilize P equals quarantine or P equals reject. So at this time, P equals none is perfectly fine to use and is considered the safest option. Now it's time to validate our DMARC record. So before anything else, make sure to clear your caching tools if you have any and use a tool like MX Toolbox, which you can navigate through at mxtoolbox.com forward slash DMARC dot ASPX to verify your DMARC record is configured correctly. And there you have it, your domain's email integrity fortified with DMARC. With your DMARC policy set to none, you're in the monitoring phase. Keep an eye on the reports you receive to understand your email flow and authentication status. As you gain more confidence, consider moving to a more restrictive policy like quarantine or reject. So I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, don't forget to visit Brackner.com for more insightful content and top-notch hosting solutions. Until next time, stay secure with your email delivery system and we will talk soon.